In this video, we will go through the steps of creating a cross-tabulation table with Health of Houston survey variables using the tabulation feature in Nestar. From the Nestar web view, begin by clicking the plus icon to expand the menu on the left until you see the variable description folder. You will notice the description, tabulation, and analysis functions have become active in the right frame window. In our previous video, the description mode was automatically selected for viewing the metadata and summary statistics of specific survey variables. But for this video lesson, we will click the tabulation function and select our variables of interest. From here, we can start to build our table. In the left frame menu, expand the variable description folder until you find the first variable of interest. As an example, I am selecting Reported Health Status from the Health Status and Chronic Conditions group. By clicking on the variable title, I can now choose from four options. In this case, we choose Add to Row. Information about this variable is now displayed in the right frame window. In order to look at this variable cross-tabulated with another survey variable, we can choose a second variable and add it to the column of our table. For example, let's look at insurance status and reported health status together. Again, I am clicking on the variable title in the left frame window, but this time I am clicking Add to Column. Once we have added variables, each variable has a drop-down menu with options. For example, Change Selection will allow you to remove categories from your table or add them back in if you have removed them. You also may need to swap the column and row position of your variables and can do so here without starting over. And you can completely remove a variable if you decide it's not what you wanted. You will also notice that once we have built our table that a couple of icons become active in the top right corner of the right frame window. Here we can change the display with a selection of bar charts, we can completely clear our selection, and most importantly, we can apply a survey weight. I would like to emphasize that before we interpret any of the information from our table, we must properly weight the survey data. For the description feature, weights were automatically applied, but for the tabulation feature, they are not. To apply the weight, we click on the scale icon. For tabulation, we will select population weight by clicking on it, and then the right arrow. And finally, click OK. For more information on why and when we must apply this weight, you can read the weighting information note that always displays on this screen. Now that we have returned to our table, you will see that our weight is on, and you can see that our ends have become much larger to reflect the overall population. Typically, in 2x2 two two tables, there is an effect or outcome variable whose categories are displayed in rows, and an explanatory variable, the one thought to have an effect or influence on the row variable, will have its categories arrayed in columns. The cell counts are percentaged in the direction of the suspected effect. In our example, they are percentaged down the columns and add to 100%, as shown along the bottom margin of the table. To get some indication of the strength of association among the variables shown in a table, say a gamma coefficient, or to test for statistical independence as with a chi-squared statistic, the tabulated data need to be exported to a statistical software program like Stata, SPS, or SAS that can perform these computations. Also let me point out two ways of exporting a table you have created. You have the option to export to an Excel by clicking this icon, or to a PDF document by clicking the PDF symbol. Or you can print it by clicking here. And once again, please contact us with any questions you may have.